What's something no one tells you about sex? How terrible it is with the wrong person. You don't realize how good it can be till you're with the right person. I had a blow my mind moment when my lips touched a penis and I found out it was warm, like literally almost hot, I never thought about it and never saw this mentioned anywhere. The first time I ever French kissed a guy his tongue was cold. It was disconcerting. That was no guy, that was a zombie. That you can ask for whatever you need, you don't have to feel bad. And if your partner gives you what you ask for, that's valid and good. He doesn't have to magically know for it to be genuine and caring. Giving you what you ask for is good. I'll take a large cheesesteak, fried onions, mayo, and ketchup. Please toast the roll in the oven. And also an order of onion rings with thousand island dressing on the side. Bring a towel. It'll come in handy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is never wrong about these things. Sometimes you come in under a minute, sometimes you can go all night and blast off at the end, and sometimes you can fuck for hours but you ain't gonna finish. Just enjoy your partner while you're together. God I remember being able to finish in a minute. I miss those days. How low the vagina is. You stuck it in a belly button, didn't you? Sadly only one of us found it funny trying to do it in the belly button. LOL. It's not always some kind of sexy, passion-filled thing like the movies. Sometimes it's just a really wholesome, fun thing with a person you're close with and you too have some laughs during it. I was engaged for four years, lived with the guy for most of it, we had sex tons of times, and I was a feisty teen if you know what I'm saying. But at 22 after my engaged ended, I moved in with my sister and her husband and I heard them going at it one night but they were laughing and having a merry old time and I was so confused. I was far from a virgin and definitely several partners, and I had never had fun during sex. I asked some friends and they all said it was like the best when that happened. Never in my life. Then I met my current fiancé. Truly a good word of advice. Turned out pretty much every sexual relationship I ever had was pretty dysfunctional. All these people saying the smell is bad, and I'm just sitting here wondering what kind of funky people y'all are getting down with. I also thought that sex with a condom always smelled like autozone. Condoms smell awful. But your partner should not. The cleanup is really not a lot of fun. LOL I joke with my GF about the leftovers, it can be fun trust me. Exactly, we always laugh together as she sits on a towel letting it all drip out of her. One of you will have to reach down and put it in. When I was younger I definitely thought that the bits just found each other and came together like magnets or something. How ridiculous and silly it can be sometimes. Yes, laughing together and being silly is a great part that is rarely in books or movies. Shower sex is really overrated. Shower foreplay on the other hand. Always keep a package of wipes, baby wipes, wet ones whatever, tucked away in the nightstand. You'll need M. Sex with a condom smells not great. There's going to be emotional complications, for one or both people. Sex is almost always a lot better when it's with someone you know and trust. Edit, remembered one. As the guy finishes he's going to reach a point where his equipment becomes incredibly sensitive, and no longer in a fun way. Don't freak out if you're stroking him off or using your mouth and he finishes and all of a sudden can barely stand to have you touching it. It's totally normal, it doesn't hurt so much as it's just really sensitive. Cramps. Especially when you get that foot cramp right as you're about to hit the spot. When you're with the right person, all the bodily fluids don't gross you out. Precisely. If it's great, and fun, you'd care less if your partner turned into a rung sponge in front of you if you're having fun. Always pee right after sex. You will get a UTI. Also, sex can sometimes ruin your pH level. I honestly don't know how women existed before antibiotics. Or maybe my body is just prone to UTIs. Thank God for science either way. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe please.